Good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial 6. So, today I would like to sh talk about the important concept in the JCL that is PROC. So, it plays a very, very, very important while working with the mainframes under JCL. So what exactly the proc and uh, where do we use in JCL and what is the significance or importance of this proc and what are the different kinds of procs we uh, we will be going to use in a real time day to day programming on the mainframe world. So let's go ahead and start with the procs. Proc is also called as a procedure. It is a reusable component which consists of activities and DDs procedures are of two types one is in stream procedure and another is catalog procedure so where do we use this proc exactly so in a jcl you have certain uh, certain steps like uh, a sorting of data uh, copying a data from one file to another file or you have a report program where it creates a certain it creates a report so Sorting of data, copying a data sets from one data, one file to another file, and creating a reports. These are very common, uh, common things, which every most of the JCLs or most of the jobs will be using, the, making use of this. So instead of coding these three steps again and again in in all the jobs, so what we can do is we can create a separate proc or a separate a data set and we will create them in a separate uh, we will uh, we will create this three steps in a separate module and we will be calling those whenever needed so for example if 10 users are using or writing uh, sorting step or copying step or program reporting st printing step so instead of writing the entire code just they simply they can simply call this proc and execute in their job so this is one of the beauty that's the reason it we call it as it is a reusable component which consists of activities and dds so you can say simply in c program when you call a sub program or something else so it's also a simple same like uh, uh, calling is calling is a program so based on this so procedures are divided into two types one is in-stream procedure and the catalog procedure so what e so we will start working with the proc in order to work with the procs you need a three steps they are declaration of a proc execution of a proc and changing parameters in a proc how do we change the parameters in a proc so in stream proc it is defined within a job with proc name starting with proc of rand so this is specific to a particular job so since i said like we have two kinds of procs here in stream proc and catalog proc when i say in stream proc this proc is defined in a specific job and the scope of this is specific to that particular job only when i say catalog procedure so it is specific it is global we are defining a so in this we will define certain steps which are global uh, these are created in a separate pds member and these procs are called in by called by separate separate job members so in in stream proc it is defined within a job with proc name starting with proc operand rules maximum 15 in stream procs can be defined within a within one job so proc can be executed within a jcl program in any activity right so we will see example why do we use in stream proc so if you want to copy data from one data set to another data set creation or deletion of data set or sorting of data so the same example which i gave so in a particular job the uh, copying of data set and sorting of data and uh, creation or deletion of data set is created multiple times since we all know that the maximum of 255 exec statements can be coded in a single jcl so for uh, uh, 
in this JCL there might be around 100 steps in that 100 steps uh, okay, 20 steps 20 steps might be copying data from one data set to another data set and 20, 20 steps might be creation or deletion of data sets and uh, other 20 steps might be uh, sorting data so in order to write in order to have this multiple steps coded in a single JCL what we can do is we, we can create a separate proc and we will call multiple times with this proc so it will it will avoid the pro, uh, lengthy lengthy of the JCL steps and uh, it can it is it is good to re, uh, it act as a reusable and it saves the time so since I said it has mainly three steps they are declaration of a proc execution of a proc and changing parameters so we will see how do we declare a proc in stream proc so procedure is declared in a job with proc operand and uh, it is given with the procedure name and the procedure must be terminated with pend statement always maximum in stream pro 15 in stream procedure can be defined in one JCL program procedure can be executed by any activity by using exit procedure name so parameters are changed by using activity name dot dd uh, as a dd name for a new data sets so you not only after declaring the proc you can also re uh, override the existing dd names by you passing some parameters so we will see how do we change those parameters and uh, how do we replace the data names so below is a sample JCL of declaration of a proc so as usual you will be giving the job name then you are defining a uh, proc is defined with the keyword called proc okay proc operand and uh, it's given with the particular proc name it's a user defined name so I am giving this proc name as proc 001 so you will be having a set of steps steps coded the first one is a simple COBOL program let us consider that is it is creating a report and another is a COBOL another, another is a JBMT program it is called IEB Jenner it might be used for create use user to sort a data or copy a data from one data set to another data set so how do in order to close this proc you need to end with pend statement or the pend operand so it means that this proc this is an in-stream proc so how do we execute this proc now we have seen the declaration of a proc so various it is having certain uh, certain steps in this so how do we execute or how do we call this proc so in order to execute this proc so so you simply what you do is just give an exec and then proc name so entire all these steps will be copied over this of during the uh, during the execution time this proc 001 expands expands this so this is the way we execute this proc and we also talked about like how to change the parameters in procedure or proc in in stream so as usual you will be defining a job you are defining a proc name you have to you have one step over here and uh, this step has two dd names one is the uh, input and another is the uh, output and appended with pen so what i want to do is instead of using use dot input that i want to over replace with a new file name new file name over here so the simple way to do is what is the step name you are using inside the proc and my proc so first you need to define first you need to call uh, you need to call the proc the immediate action will be identify the step name inside it yes my I, the step name is step 001 and identify the dd name to associate it with this particular stop way uh, where you want to replace the data set so my data set name my dd name is uh, i1 and uh, what do you want to replace in this the dsn name so then you give, give simply give dd dsn tso dot tst dot input one yes so now you have replaced with this with your input data set and this so generally when we use this you know so the same program you wanted to test with uh, multiple input files 
or some th some some input might be having thousand records another input have a thousand records and another records having 10 million records or 100 million records so instead of executing the same job multiple times so what we do is simply we create a proc and just we uh, keep on calling the proc by changing the parameters the first data set will have see suppose for example this is having 10,000 records in the same way where is this one two and then uh, I will call this proc one and uh, the same and uh, this is my input two okay So here's, here it is. Yeah, uh, this proc or this data set might be using only 10,000 records. It might have 10,000 records. And this data set will have 1 million records. And this data set will have more than 1 million records. Okay. So with this, it gives a clear understanding like uh, it uh, it we are using uh, making use of reusable things over here so it makes the testing easier and it makes uh, it makes uh, me uh, to check the results or verify the results very quickly and give a proper understanding of what we are doing in the jcl so this was about the instream proc which i have discussed today so in my next class i would be uh, discussing about the the cat catalog procedures which is also very very important in real time mainframe job or mainframe working environment so i hope you enjoyed with th this video thank you for watching this video please feel free to subscribe like or comment on this video have a great and wonderful